So on July 1, uh, I drowned. I blacked out. I fell in the pool. And uh, next thing I know, paramedics are waking me up. What I didn't know I had missed was I had drowned. I stopped breathing for a solid two minutes. Uh, some of the perfect alignment of how things work. My wife was right next to me. I reached out for her as I was blacking out even. And uh, she got me out of the pool really quick or got me out of the water at least. Um, I was brought up onto the pool deck. A stranger at our family event performed CPR. I've never met this person. It saved my life. And uh, yeah, I was gone for 20 minutes. agreeing to hop on this call with us today. I'm super pumped for it. Uh, you left probably one of the craziest responses that I've read in like the upcoming prep for the interview. So I've been pumped for this call. So thanks so much for this. Uh, yeah, Steve, how are you doing? Hey, uh, doing great. And uh, yeah, man, I, uh, I know that I am lucky to be here today. And that's what I wanted to share with everybody. Um, and even how uh, using this Savage Tape has even helped as I've uh, been through something crazy. And so, um, yeah, man, I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to be with you. Awesome. That, yeah, yeah, so great to have you here. Do you mind sharing what you shared to me? Obviously, like, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you would like to, go ahead and, and yeah, just kind of share what that experience was. No, absolutely, and that's that's my motivation for being here today. I, I'm lucky to be here. So on July 1, uh, I drowned. Uh, we had our um, we had our family event for um, for Independence Day a little early the weekend before, and we were down in uh, Columbia, South Carolina on the lake next to a pool, and uh, it all just kind of happened so fast. All I know to say is Columbia, South Carolina heat, exhaustion, maybe a little bit of anxiety, it hit me. I felt wild for about maybe a minute with no warning. I blacked out, I fell in the pool, and uh, next thing I know, paramedics are waking me up. What I didn't know I had missed was I had drowned. I stopped breathing for a solid two minutes. Uh, some of the perfect alignment of how things worked, my wife was right next to me. I reached out for her as I was blacking out even, and uh, she got me out of the pool really quick or got me out of the water at least. Um, I was brought up onto the pool deck. A stranger at our family event performed CPR. I've never met this person. Saved my life. And, uh, yeah, I was gone for 20 minutes. And, man, your perspective changes, right? I mean, we we, uh, we moved really fast through some things the next couple week and a half. I did the, uh, the brain scans, the chest x-rays. They're trying to figure out what's wrong. And, uh, man, I'm lucky. I, I have a clean bill of health but obviously something happened. And uh, so it just, it, it scared me obviously and made me want to be more careful and made me want to be really proactive with my health. And that's why I want to have this conversation today as well. That is just crazy. Like I can, I can't actually, I was going to say, I can imagine, I can't even imagine like what your wife must've been going through. Like you just mm -hmm. reaching out for her and then falling in the pool and her grab, like, Dude, like that is just such a wild story, and like, I just want to say, like, congratulations, man! Like, yeah, right, right. That's it's crazy. Like that, that is so insane, and yeah, like you guys are just so blessed, so lucky that that you're still around, still able to like be with them. I mean, yeah, that's just crazy, man. It's it's exactly. a crazy story. Yeah, it all happened about two feet in front of my kids, you know, and that's kind of your worst nightmare, and yeah. for a lot of reasons. As a dad, you don't want to come across as weak, but obviously, like. For something to happen to the point where your kids were terrified of what was happening too and so yeah that's where um what's happened since then has been just as important and that's why um talking about hostage tape is important to me i um i i came away from that experience realizing man i am a dad i, I work in higher ed and we're staying busy sometimes people uh People might not realize the summer is crazier in higher ed than the school year because we're getting ready for everything. Stress was to the max. And here we are trying to have a vacation, trying to have this day with family, and it's going to be great. And by the time we had driven the hour and a half to the family event with the kids, we had hustled and bustled and um, all the prep for that. We had you know, put on sunscreen. We were there to have a great time. But um, that's where I, 
this is the big thing I realized about myself is a lot of times as parents um, and as dads, we don't prioritize the things like sleep like we should. And I had garbage sleep the night before and I hadn't hydrated for like basically the entire week the way I should have been. And uh, it, you know, it really made me realize. And so the tape, I'd had it for a while. Um, I, so my wife and I, we actually got married uh, right at the end of last year. And um, I had bought the tape simply because uh, I didn't want to disturb my wife's sleep. And I did know that I was a bit of a snorer, but even then, uh, you know, sometimes not even snoring, but just the way we breathe out of our mouths is louder and we move and we're restless. And so I bought the tape and I thought I'd try it. I found it from um, Savage Army, Mr. Love, uh, right. if you're familiar. And yep. Uh, yep. so him promoting the product is where I saw it. And I was like, what is this? Because I do know one of the things that um, I had heard talked about uh, even recently was if we don't use our nose, we don't feel like we can breathe. And so I did notice if I was laying down and trying to breathe through my nose, it felt like I was going to suffocate. And so I started using the tape and I was like, okay, this does help me breathe. But also I didn't really use it very consistent, consistently. I don't snore all that much. And uh, I didn't, it didn't bother my wife for me to not use it as we had gotten used to being, um, married and being together at night and so that was um that was not something that i was really prioritizing but again understanding from even that one episode of man i i can't neglect my rest i can't neglect taking care of me um and so i uh work out a couple times a week but since the first man i've been working out uh once i got the the okay to work out I've been working out like crazy. I've been drinking water like it's medicine. And then this tape is a big piece of it because when I go to sleep and I wake up um, having slept with my nose breathing all night, that is the cup of coffee, or at least it does what we hope the cup of coffee will do, right? You wake up, you take that yeah. breath and you're like, oh, that's what rest is supposed to be. And it's so funny that it's as simple as closing your mouth before you go to bed. And so, yeah, I, um, I like to run, um, not as much of a runner as I used to be, but, um, you know, going out to the track in the mornings, I actually live less than a block from uh, our college track. And so I go out there and um, the days that you have the tape on versus the days that maybe you forgot, man, it's a big difference. You're ready to breathe running around, um, running laps a whole lot better. So it's made a big difference for me. That's really neat. That's really awesome. It's it's cool how you've been able to take like this, I mean, just an insane experience and then just go full positive with it where it's like, I just got to start taking care of myself, like working out, sleeping, hydration. It's neat how you're able to like identify those things that might have like led up to that event and then how you're just able to just just dive all in and just embrace life and be like, look, I just got to I got to do all these things to to care, take care of myself, my family, my kid. Like that's really commendable, man. So um yeah, that, that's just awesome. I just wanted to make make sure I commented on that. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, when you – so you said you bought the tape. You probably had it for like eight months now. Is that correct? Like if you that's bought it right, right before you got married? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you bought it to stop snoring. You just realized that you had like some snoring issues, but it wasn't too bad. You had mentioned that you weren't using it like that frequently um, up until July 1st. Was it mm -hmm. just that the – you were trying to eliminate snoring or did you just not realize that um, things like dry mouth, you were more like fatigued because you were just talking about running there and how mm -hmm. much better you feel when you're using it consistently versus not. Was it just something that you weren't really paying attention to before? Yeah, that's exactly it. I, I, I think for anybody that goes about this and they think, well, maybe this is the answer for snoring and that's all you think about. And you know, um, I had, I had the jitters going into, uh, going into getting married. Like you go from sleeping in an empty bed to sleeping with someone every night and you want to make sure that that's not awkward. Right. And so, yeah. um, I think more than anything, that was my being self-conscious about what is my wife going to think, or is my wife even going to be able to sleep, uh, if I'm over here sawing logs and, uh, one, I, what I, understand now about what like 
um, yeah, maybe maybe other people are experiencing this exact same thing where I don't necessarily saw logs. It's not every breath that's snoring, but uh, you ever have that moment where you kind of catch yourself not breathing uh, as you're falling asleep and you kind of do this like recovery, like you're coming up for breath. And yeah. that was the biggest thing for me where uh, the tape was helping, um, but also I don't always deal with that. It kind of seems like if I'm more tired, that's a problem. But if I'm getting enough hours, it's not always an issue. But yeah, I think honestly, this, this wake up call for me was, it doesn't matter if I think it's going well, I've got to keep doing this. And I think this is, I mean, as much as I have owned it for eight months, like we said, this is the first, how long has it been? This is the first four weeks that I've used it every night. And that's where I see like, oh, I didn't understand the difference that this was making um, because, um, you know, all of the, all of the time that you waste in your rest trying to either recover from not breathing or even just being too restless because I move in my sleep too, um, that can be changed because I actually fall asleep. I stay asleep and I wake up like, you know, my wife and I, we have been clinging to each other in such a new way since July 1. And so uh, I'm a back sleeper and it's so cool to have my wife right here. And man, there have been nights since July 1 where Seven and a half hours later, we wake up. I'm on my back. I haven't moved. My uh, my mouth is taped, and she's right here. That's, That's awesome. golden, right? So that's the dream. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, so that's been that's been the difference. Um, and then yeah, like I I am I have been I've been a, uh, a dad for seven years, and uh, I've consider myself a proud black coffee drinker, right? Like that's part of the duty. We are dads, we drink coffee. But again, I like coffee, but waking up rested, it, you, you, you can't get it from a cup of coffee in the morning. And we like to hold our hot mug of Joe, but uh, there's something so different of being awake prior to drinking coffee that I don't think I ever realized that was possible. Uh, but yeah, I've been experiencing that too. Yeah, yeah. You just touching on that coffee thing. It it just it triggers something in my head like it's almost a rite of passage where it's like, well, I've got my coffee and I'm going to feel awake after that versus I just slept eight hours. I should feel awake. Right. It's one of those. And it's almost a thing that like people brag about like, oh, I have two cups in the morning and then I'm just ready to start my day or something. It's, it, it should just be, hey, I woke up. I had eight hours of sleep last night. I'm ready to start my day. And if I want to have a coffee because I enjoy it, I'll have a coffee because I enjoy it. Well, like mm -hmm. you said, like with the dads and everything, right? Like black coffee, people just want to embrace it and be like, oh, I'm tired. I slept like garbage last night and just different things like that where it just it becomes too normalized. And I just have a big problem with it where I'm like, look, we don't need to be like this. It doesn't need to be this normalized. You don't need to rely on coffee. And I, I heard an interesting quote the other day where he said, um, instead of people saying they feel tired, they'll say, I need a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's almost like they're masking the fact that you shouldn't just always need coffee. If you feel tired, you should try to figure out why you feel tired and then deal with that problem. But people often don't say it. They'll just say, I need a coffee or it'll be like the afternoon crash rather than saying like, I'm exhausted. They'll just be like, oh, I need another cup of coffee and they'll switch it but not really deal with the root of the problem. So it's cool that you brought that up as well. I was just listening to something that, uh, that talked about that. Definitely. What um, was, Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, please. What was your wife's thought? Like you, you talked about, you got married and congratulations, by the way, that's super exciting. What was your mm -hmm. wife thinking first? Like, okay, I'm getting married to this guy. I'm going to be living with them, sleeping in the same bed, and he's taping his mouth shut at night. Like, had your wife come across before, and he's using a brand called hostage tape? Like, had she come across that before? Was this all new to her? Did you have to, like, break it into her and say, like, hey, babe, this is for you? What, what was that conversation <laughs> like? No, um, I I think that, because um, that, that is probably one of my biggest reluctance to even try it, and it took me longer to buy it than how long I've had it, because... It was this idea of that's got to be awkward. That has to be awkward to tape your mouth shut. 
Um, and I'd seen some reviews that um, once I'd seen the product that were people were like, don't worry about your mustache. And I can totally attest to your mustache stays put. Um, and there's been a couple of times, this is a side tangent. There's been a couple of times where I didn't have hostage tape and I used a Band-Aid, uh, like a good, strong Band-Aid. And I lost some stash hairs in that night experience, yeah. right? So so I've learned, got to have this tape and it does work. But um, but yeah, it just felt like an awkward, clunky thing. Like almost, um, certainly the thing we don't want to be on is a CPAP machine. But as you consider tape, I think you almost, I thought about it in a sense of like, man, this is going to get in the way, so to speak, but not really, because it's such a simple one second thing where you are ready for sleep, right? And so it's not, it's not the instant that you're getting into bed, it doesn't have to be, it can be right beside your bed. And so you uh, have your night routines. And then when you are ready to go to sleep, you pop this thing open, you slide it on. Um, and then I've used the method that you, um, I learned it from running with like blister pads. I have to give myself a little bit of friction against my lips after I've put it on just to kind of warm up that glue mm -hmm. just a little bit. Um, but then it just stays put and it's not in the way. And in the morning when I want to pop it off, it doesn't feel like a band aid being ripped off. It feels, it's easy. It's easy. Um, so yeah, I, that, that is it. I mean, and she and I, uh, we've laughed about it. I think she's at least taken a few pictures since uh, we've been there where she's like, well, it's time for bed. And he's taped his mouth shut. Uh, but it, it's funny. And, uh, and more than that, we know that it's giving me good rest and allowing us to rest together. Yes. And I imagine she is quite happy about that as well. Like you said, there are, you were like, you weren't a, just, sawing logs all night but there are those times where you feel like you're almost gasping for air i can imagine mm -hmm. well i know from experience that my wife would always wake up at those moments and then her sleep's a little interrupted and it's just a snowball of all right we both slept poorly last night and then we're kind of crabby in the morning and then maybe like a bicker a little bit more than we would have if we had had like a nice nice sleep and then the next day it, it just it leads into things so when you're sleeping better I mean, life is just better. There's, there's no way, there's no real way around it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Steve, we can finish it off there. I just want to say thanks so much for this. Uh, like I, I'm blown away. And it's just, it was super cool. Like when I read, I read what you wrote about falling in the pool. I was almost like, man, is this guy just messing with us? Is he just signing up? And then he's not going to show up. Like, I was like, I don't know if this is real or not, but dude, this yeah. is like just crazy, man. Like just congratulations. I like, yeah. And and it's awesome that you've been able to like prioritize sleep and, and hydration and exercise, all that stuff. So I just want to say like like congrats, man. Um yeah. Just thankful that you're still here, still there for your kids and for your wife. I'm sure like they just love having you around and, and we really appreciate having you on. This is so awesome. Absolutely. Hey, thanks, Patrick. I appreciate it.